clawing her way to the top. The story of Jessica Simpson Shelley, the third and longest reigning wife of Derek Shelley, was married to technopreneur Malcolm Sia, but divorced him two years later. Rumors abound that Jessica had stolen Malcolm from his then fiance. What do you expect from someone suspected of stealing exam papers when she was in school? Dutiful wife or lying cheat? Who is the real Jessica Shelley? How can they write this kind of rubbish? Must sue them, eh? Yeah, quite bad, though. I'm gonna go check Jessica. It's a very carefully worded article. You can sue, but I don't think you win. I saw Celia with Gwyneth the other day. She must be behind this. I know she's behind this. Jessica, why do you put up with this? Let's go. Let's leave this place. Leave those toxic Shelleys behind. And let Celia win. That's what she wants me to do. Run away so she can have Derek. Jessica, you were supposed to leave him to be with me anyway. I want to leave on my terms. Not anyone else's. My terms. Before meeting Jessica, Mr. Malcolm Sia was engaged to another. Shortly after Mr. Sia married Jessica, his fiancée passed away under mysterious... Sorry, this is not the time and place for gossip. Get to work. The world thinks that Jessica is a gold digger too, not just me. This is bad. Jessica seems to have a thing for men who are already taken. But you, she's in hiding, too embarrassed to show her face. We don't know how much of the stuff written is true anyway. That part about Malcolm Sia is 100% true. You knew about Malcolm Sia? Oh, there's more to come. Malcolm Sia is just the tip of the iceberg. Can't wait to see the Titanic crash. Morning. Oh, morning, Mrs. Shelley. You here to see Dr. Richard again? <laughs> yes, I am. How did you guess? Well, I keep seeing you with him. You two are really close. We're all friends. We go back years and years. Partners in crime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you and your police lingo. You're looking very tired. Don't work too hard, OK? Well, you're my boss. You sure you should say things like that? I was saying that as your mother's friend. As your boss, I know you're trying your best, so don't work too hard, OK? <laughs> Ma. That Jessica Shelley was your classmate, right, in school? You know of her stealing exam papers? Ha! Huh. Whatever you do, do not talk to the press. Do not breathe a single word. OK, I understand. Ella! The other day, you said some people gave you so much pressure when you took your exams that you got stomach ache. Should have just stolen the exam papers. Solve all your problems. Hey, how's Jess doing? She sent me a text. I'm fine. And then she switched off her phone. Probably to avoid the reporters. But how are you feeling? Shell-shocked over all the revelations? Jessica told me about her mother before and her drinking problem. That I already know. But the rest thing is in papers and her first marriage. I never knew she was married before. Neither did I. You're not shocked? And she put on Jella that Malcolm guy is more. Well, Mum always said that Jess stole that from her, so... I know, but I, I thought that was like a one-time thing. This is like pattern, you know? Yeah, well, everyone has a past and all that stealing and potong jalaning. It could all be rumours. But your mum said Jessica stole dairy. Yeah, Mum's obsessed about getting that back. So whatever she says about Jess, I will take it with a huge pinch of salt. Sarah, can you give me one? What for? Souvenir. Take all you want. Why do I want so many menus for? Open another Adina's. Zara, this is your mother's life's work. Are you sure there's no way to save it? We've tried everything. I don't know what else we can do. Good morning, Mr. Shelley. Morning. 
Mr. Shelley, that's the medical records room. I know. I'm looking for records of the staff on duty on the 9th of August, 1995. Actually, I could use some help. Do you mind? Sure, of course. Looking at Mrs. Jelly. I'm just looking at some CCTV footage. Yeah. Something going on, Matthew. As the head, you wouldn't have to go through the CCTV footage yourself. Just assign some underlying. Uh, because it's it's nothing, Mrs. Shelley. It's just a random check, making sure everything's in order. That's Richard. And you've been asking many questions. I'm just checking every doctor, doing background checks. Going down the list is just one of the first few doctors that I'm checking on. Yeah. I'm sorry I have to go, Mrs. Shelley. I'm meeting someone important. Who? Hey, Mio, are you ready for lunch? Lunch? Yeah, you need to remember to eat. You're losing so much weight. You too. Oh, uh, Mrs. Shelley, he caught us. Mm. Yoke and I were actually seeing each other. Really? I... Why? Why not? Is it really over between you and that Dr. Chen? Uh, yes. But it's not her fault. So protective of her. She's very important to me. I can see that. Well, thank you so much for your well wishes, Mrs. Shelley. It means a lot to us. Yeah, thanks, huh? Jessica, don't you have to work? I came by to see how you are. Business as usual. How are you holding up? Good morning, Jessica. Gwyneth, morning. You look none the worse for wear. I've been through worse. It's nothing I can't handle. Worse? How much worse can it get? Pray tell. Can you please leave? But I'm here to give Jessica a chance to rebut the article. Why don't we start with the fact that your mother's an alcoholic? Can you just leave her alone? It's true. My mother was an alcoholic. And yes, I had a rough childhood. The reason why I never talk about my past is because I don't want to be pitied. But having come so far, I think I'm ready to share my story. You see, I wasn't sure how people would react to my past. But thanks to your article, it's given me the courage to talk about it. That is, if you have the time to listen to the truth. No. Well, I am all ears. Hey, were you waiting long? No, just a few minutes. I wasn't expecting a call. How come it's not for you to meet now? No patience today, so I decided to take the rest of the day off. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm all yours. You better mean what you say. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Your ex and your BFF are dating. Ex BFF. You don't feel anything seeing them together? Nope. Not even a little jealous? Yoke's out of my life. You're the only one I want. You don't believe me? You once told me I wasn't your type. Now all of a sudden I am. Please don't treat me as a rebound. I've been hurt and rejected by so many people. People I thought were my family. I don't know how I'll take it if you... Ella, you need someone who loves you for who you are. So do I. There's only one person in my life, and it's not Yoke. I want to be that one person for you too. You bring out the best in me, Ella. There can be no one else for me. You might not believe me now, but one day you will. You'll see.
I'm in it for the long haul. It's a uh, uh, dust. Uh, you should take an antihistamine. Uh, okay, I will. Thanks. Uh, let me help you. Thank you. Let me help. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. Oh. Hello, Stephen. I need my one. Ah, Matthew, yo. <laughs> Hi. So free today. No need to work. Our girl has been working too hard, so I dragged her out for a break. Good timing. I just make fresh egg tarts. Two tawe, two egg tarts. Sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, Matthew. I need your help. Can you help me to move this to the back? Hi, yeah, Stephen. Why you keep asking Matthew to do things? He's an ex-policeman. He should be used to physical work. This should be kacang putih to you, right? Yeah, that's okay. Hey, okay? You hurt your back again? Um, I'm fine. You better go and see Sinsei Go. Yeah, can you help me with this? Yeah, thanks. Jessica, you've been reluctant to talk about your past. Are you ashamed of it? No. In fact, my past has shaped me into the person I am today. But it doesn't define me. Look, I've learned from my past mistakes and failures. And I've worked very hard to get to where I am today. I hope that by sharing my experiences, I will be able to inspire those who are struggling. So they too can find hope to rise above their own circumstances and succeed. Richard, what a surprise. Oh, came here to give Jessica moral support? I was just in the neighborhood. She looks like she's holding up. Either that or she's a damn good actress. Jess, darling. I didn't know you had such a colourful past. Oh, I beg your pardon, are you doing an interview now? Uh, yes, Jessica was just telling me how her past has shaped her. She certainly became more savvy at finding richer and richer husbands. There were only two husbands. And Celia is well aware that Derek and I have been married for 25 years. Far longer than her marriage to him. Yes, no, marriage did last longer. But that's understandable, of course. I mean, you and I are very different people. I would have never, at such a young age, thought of stealing exam papers. That's unsubstantiated. Oh, let's ask Tan Mei Wen, shall we? I believe that's the person that you framed for your crime. She was even expelled. Did she tell you that? Of course she would. She's a liar and a cheat. This interview is over. I've indicated in the email the nurses who were on duty on the 9th of August, 1995. Some of them are still with us. Get Adip to run background checks. <coughs> are you coming down with a cold? Just allergies. I hope it's not a virus. Don't come over. Don't spread anything to me. It's not. Go back early. <sighs> Where's Jessica? Probably still out trying to clean up the PR mess and salvage whatever's left of her reputation. Why aren't you helping her? Why should I? She's your wife. She should have known better than to let this get out of hand. <laughs> How did you and Jessica stay married for so long? Huh? You and Celia got along so much better. I married Celia then because she was a wonderful companion. But Jessica made a better Shelley wife. What? That is the reason why you married her? You've never loved her. Bottom line, I chose Jessica. I didn't fall prey to her charms. When you get to my age, you'll realize love is overrated. Oh, but her mother had what it took to be a good Shelley wife. But the way she's been handling this scandal in her past, I'm not so sure. I might have completely misjudged her. Hey, she's not some stocks and shares you can buy. She's a human being. She's my mother. You're the one who told the reporter that I stole the exam papers and framed you, right? Believe it or not, I didn't tell anyone. Who else would know about it? You're just out to get me. I got better things to do. I'm not so cruel like you. 
I heard uh, you admitted to everything. Uh, your mother, your rich boyfriend. But this one, don't even want to admit. Why? I can't. You just don't want to. I can't because you will never forgive me for this. For what I did to you. Dr. Shin? It's official. We're a couple. I thought he was dating Ayok. They broke up. But maybe it's just temporary. I told you they broke up. Yok is the one who's temporary. Shen likes me so much. We're in it for the long haul. We'll get married. Okay. In that case, you focus on being a doctor's wife. Don't try to get involved with our business. Better to stay out of anything that could get you in trouble with the law. True, I don't want to get Shen in trouble. You're right, I should stay out of it. Why are you staring at the photo? This is my mother. What, your Elsie's son? Yeah. She used to work for you initially. Yeah, I know. Eunice recommended her to come and see me for treatment. Well, they were good friends. You used to be. What do you mean? They had a big fallout. That ended their friendship. I tried to help your mother, but there wasn't anything we could do. She needed a transplant. Yes, but she was low on the waiting list. So she told Eunice that her husband, your father, wanted to buy her a kidney. But Eunice said no. Eunice said no? Why? Well, Eunice had a relative who died after an illegal kidney transplant operation. So she didn't want your mother to take this risk. I really didn't mean to get you into trouble. I just put the papers into the nearest bag when I heard someone coming. I didn't know it was your bag. I didn't know you would be expelled. I can handle your knowing about my crappy family and my failed marriage, but not this. If you knows I ruined your life, she'll hate me even more. Yeah, you owe me a lot. Ma, may one. Is it true that Jessica... I guess you've read the latest Prattler interview. You saw what, my ma? Yes. Because of you, she gave up on her education. You destroyed her life. What? What destroyed? You think she's so powerful? It's my life, my own choices. Who said my life is no good? I have two sons, a daughter. I have this shop. My life was good. You two have a problem. You two work it out. Don't drag me into this. I suppose you hate me now. If Mayon doesn't hate you, then... I try. Really? You don't hate me? What I hate is that I never know what you're thinking. What you're feeling. All my life, I never knew who I could trust. Not even your own husband? Not even him. But if there's anyone I could trust, it would be you, Yo. Give me another chance to start over with you. Please. Okay. If you promise me no more secrets, just talk to me. Tell me 
everything. Huh? I promise I'll try. Why did you do that? Do what? Help Jessica. After everything she's done to you. Not just about the exam papers, but she also took yoke from you. And then she lied that you took the money. Just for one reason. Because you need some mother now. Everything else not important. Still, let's go. Is that the outcome you're hoping for? It's sad to have your cake and not be able to eat it. What are you trying to say? You're smitten with Jessica. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. She's never gonna leave Derek. Oh, the pain of unrequited love. Is that why you told me about Jessica's primary school feud with Maywan? Hoping that she'll run to you for comfort? Or is it to punish her for spurning you? She doesn't belong here. Not with Derek Shelley. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before she gets replaced. Look, Mr. Shelley. I don't want what happened between you and Elsie to happen to us. Why are you bringing up Elsie? Because I know her son, Matthew. And he knows you too. And he's been asking me a lot of questions about you and her mother. It was after talking to him that I started thinking about the past. So, how about we let bygones be bygones? What did he talk to you about? Oh, a lot. 